Each CDU is the backup for the other CDU. If a CDU is blank or does not respond to entries, then it has failed. In this example, the captain's CDU has failed and the first officer's CDU is normal. The FMCs are the primary components of the flight management system. They are very reliable and do not usually fail. If the FMCs do fail, some automatic flight functions and displays will not operate. The indications of FMC failure include the illumination of the FMC alert lights on each pilot's forward panel. The CDU changes to the menu page and the FMC prompt is gone. There is no VNAV or LNAV available if both FMCs fail. The map display is not available. Use conventional methods for navigation. Let's look at other failures associated with the FMC. If power to the FMCs are temporarily stopped, flight plan data might be erased. If power to the FMCs have stopped for less than 10 seconds, then normal operation continues when power is available again. No data is erased whether the airplane is in the air or on the ground. If power to the FMCs have stopped for more than 10 seconds while on the ground, then all flight plan data is erased from the FMC. The data must be put in again when power is available again. If power to the FMCs have stopped for more than 10 seconds while in the air, then the FMC internal battery holds the flight plan data in memory for an extended period of time. After power is available again, the FMC does not know how long the power has been off and is not sure where to go next. The FMC scratch pad message, select active waypoint leg, is shown. You must put in the next waypoint and execute to continue normal operations. There are many different systems that input data into the FMC. The removal of one of these items decreases the performance of the FMC. Let's look at fuel quantity input failure. If fuel quantity data is not available, the FMC uses the last known quantity for subsequent performance data. VNAV operates correctly. The message verify gross weight in fuel shows in the scratch pad and the fuel line on the perf init page changes to dashes. Clear the scratch pad. Put in the estimate of fuel weight. The scratch pad is incorrect. Execute the change. The word manual by the fuel weight shows that fuel quantity input is inoperative 
and you put in the data. Because fuel is burned, the FMC estimates become less accurate. The message Verify Gross Weight and Fuel shows in the scratch pad after 30 minutes to remind you to put in new fuel weight. This makes FMC gross weight data accurate. The FMC supplies outputs for VNAV and LNAV guidance. The VNAV guidance is calculated for two engines running. For performance data with an engine out, select the engine out prompt. One engine performance is different between the left and right engines because of bleed air configurations. For this example, select the left engine out prompt. The FMC now shows engine out performance data with the left engine out. A maximum altitude for engine out operation is shown here. The engine out speed changes to the minimum drag speed. The maximum continuous N1 is shown here. You cannot execute the change. Examine the engine out data. After you look at the engine out data, select the cruise key to return to the active cruise page.